Hello guys, welcome. In the continuation of petroleum geology lecture series, today we are going to discuss about migration and accumulation of petroleum. Migration of petroleum produced the hydrocarbons migrate upward from the deeper and hotter parts of the basin through permeable strata into suitable structures. There are two stages of migration. First one is the primary migration. Here, kerosene transformation causes microfracturing of the impermeable and low porosity source rock allowing hydrocarbons to move into more permeable strata and the second one is the secondary migration here the generated fluids move more freely along bedding planes and faults into a suitable reservoir structure migration can occur over several tens of kilometers in lateral directions. If we talk about the causes of migration, there are causes like uh, compaction of mud, capillary action, buoyancy, gravity, etc. If we talk about the compaction of mud, then the source mud may contain up to 80% of water. As covering sediments are deposited, the accumulating weight gradually compact the lower bed and the enclosed fluids are squeezed out into places of low pressure such as pore spaces in sands but uh, predominantly to the surface. Capillary action if uh, Oil weights cell are present in contact with water weight sandstone. The water owing to its higher surface tension will move from the coarse sandstone pores into the fine capillary. Cell pores will displace the oil there from its adjacent sandstone. Buoyancy Oil generally being lighter than the water tend to rise upon a water surface. Free gas similarly rise above the oil. This secondary migration takes place within the reservoir rock. It is most effective where the pore spaces are large and where large volume of fluids are involved. If we talk about the gravity, if water is present, the differences in specific gravity between oil and water give rise to buoyancy but when the water is absent, gravity causes the oil to migrate down dip until arrested by impervious bed. This gives rise to their synclinal accumulation. This is the schematic diagram represent the Hydrocarbon accumulation in the reservoir rock, top of maturity source rock, then the transport migration and the accumulation in the over traps. Here also the primary and secondary migration and there is the accumulation in the anticlinal formations. There also the source rock, reservoir rocks and impermeable rocks. Then accumulation of petroleum. Accumulation and storage occur when the migrating fluid encountered an impermeable cell or dense layer of rock which is called as a trap. After accumulation, the fluid tend to stratify according to their relative densities like gas, oil and water. If the migrating fluids do not encounter a trap, they tend to flow to the surface or deposited on the ocean floor. 
like sheep is escaping natural gas, bituminous lake, etc. The reservoirs are composed of either clastic formation having sandstone reservoir made up of silicates or silica and carbonate formations made up of carbonate reservoir like detritus or coral cell fragments. Reservoir must be of porous, permeable and trapped. Types of traps. <coughs> First one is the anticlinal trap, which is the result of crustal deformation. Here, these are showing the anticlinal trap. Fall traps, this is, these are also result of brittle crustal deformation. Here, in fall traps, the accumulation of petroleum takes place. Second one is the stratigraphic trap. Here, these are the impermeable strata seal the reservoir. In the shell formation, the accumulation of oil taken place. Salt dome traps. Here, the salt dome has included into the stratigraphic traps and accumulation of oil taking place like that. The combination traps, fault bound anticlinal structure that is the combination of anticlinal and fault traps. Many global reservoirs have of uh, this type of uh, traps. Thank you. This is all about the migration and accumulation of oil. Thank you for watching.